Welcome to the Seller Science Series where we test just how kid-friendly science experiments actually are. Today, we are going to be building a robotic hydraulic arm. These are materials that you're going to need. Using as many items as we could from around the house, we have a glue gun, a wire hanger, some popsicle sticks, some zip ties, a set of syringes, a drill, a ruler, scissors and needle nose pliers, some clear tubing, food coloring and toothpicks, and a sheet of cardboard. Pre-cutting, drilling, and dry fitting really seem to make a difference in this project as the instructions don't necessarily give exact measurements. While this initially was a bit of a learning curve, we realized quickly that eyeballing and dry fitting were perfectly fine in this project. After cutting out all of the pieces and dry fitting them to make sure that they functioned together, we went ahead and glued the whole thing together. that hole, so stick it inside up in here. You see? So carefully we're gonna fit, let's put the shortest set in first. Awesome. 
You may be surprised to find this project actually took us in the neighborhood of nine hours to complete from start to finish. But before you panic, I promise, I don't think this project actually should have taken this long. Keep in mind that I was filming and I was trying to involve 10 kids of various ages in any piece of this project that they might be able to help with. That being said, I would assume somewhere close to four hours from start to finish for this entire project, unless you're involving 10 kids. I really love that so many parts of this project were adaptable. There were many things that we just kind of made up as we went along. This lever board is one of them. The project did have a lever board, but it was not structured this way. <laughs> Knowing that we needed support for our levers and somewhere for the syringes to lean, we just kind of made it up. Which leads me to the one part of this project I think I definitely would do different. We went ahead and used cardboard as our actual levers. The original project asked for popsicle sticks in place of these flimsy little cardboard pieces I have here. I think they would have held up way better in the end if they were the popsicle sticks instead. I think making use of whatever you do have on hand is such a huge part of experimenting, so that's exactly what we did. After building our entire structure, attaching each of our syringes, building our lever board, we were finally ready to attach the tubing and therefore the hydraulic part of this hydraulic robot arm. Okay, ready? Everyone ready? Yes, yes. slowly. Okay. One, two, three. We can easily rate this project a 10 out of 10 on fun to make. While all ages had a hand in putting this project together, there was a heavy reliance on adult supervision. For that reason, we really have to rate this closer to a 5 out of 10 on kid friendliness. That being said, it was so much fun to make. We would absolutely make this again, possibly on an even larger scale. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this, and we will see you in the next one.